Hi everyone, this is Mike. Uh, here's a video on um, something I purchased actually about a year ago. Uh, it's a small axe. Um, what you might have seen in some of my videos is uh, in the background is um, I have a snowmobile. And um, uh, sometimes I go with uh, um, other people, sometimes I go by myself and I carry a bunch of extra gear on a snowmobile in case I get stuck. And uh, last year I thought it would be a good idea for me to start taking an axe with me um, in case I get stuck overnight or if i got to cut down, chop down a small tree and uh, use it to, uh, um, you know, just to move the sled uh, if it gets stuck or wedged. Um, so I bought this axe after doing some research on it. It's a Schrade SCAX2. And... Um, I can get different colored handles. I got the uh, green handle, so if I drop it, it's a little easier to spot in the, in the woods or in the snow. Um, let's open it up. Have a look. So it's a hard kind of plastic sheath to it. And also has a, um, uh, a loop on the back so if you want to put it on your belt you can do that um, and it has these rivets so if you want to put a lanyard around it you could do that as well um, let's see someone here's the name of the model oh there it is So SCX2G, G is for the green handle. They also make a XL, which is a longer handle. Uh, but like I said, I, want, I wanted this to be able to fit on the sled in the backpack. Um, so actually I like it. I didn't use it until yesterday. And um, it's about 12 inches long from top of the head to the bottom of the handle. And let's see. It's Alright, so let's see. Top of the head to the, to, the, to the handle. Yeah, just about 12 inches. And from there. A little under 5 inches that way. The blade. inches, a little bit more, and it has this pommel end on it, so you can use it as a hammer, to hammer in stakes or whatever. Um, the other thing it has, the base of the, hand, base of the handle is a ferro rod, uh, so you could uh, start a fire by striking it probably against the bottom of here and create a spark, and that just sits in the handle. Actually, it goes in very tight, so I don't think it'll ever fall out. It sits in there pretty snug once you push it in. So it's a, uh, I think it's a very good axe. It has good weight without being too heavy, and a good length without being too long. Um, there's some other videos you'll find out on YouTube. Uh, one of them I saw was a, a gentleman who um, supported each end with a, a block of wood or whatever. And he put all his weight on a handle, and it actually it broke. Then he he um, he wrote a letter to Schrade. They sent him another uh, small axe, same thing, and he did the same test, and it was fine. Um, so, but <laughs> I mean, to put all your weight on it, I think it really is a testament to how how well it's built and how long it should last and, and its strength. Um, the handle is. A rubber type handle so you have good grip on it and I like how the, the, the back of it flares out so it's less likely to, to slip out of your hand while you're swinging it um, let me see 
what else I wanted to say about this. And the cost was about 30, between 30 and 35 bucks, so it's not overly expensive. Um, it's a glass fiber handle. And that's about it. Now we'll, we'll, I used it, like I said, it's the first time I used it was yesterday, just to, to uh, cut some branch, to chop some branches, and it worked really well. It chopped really fast, very sharp. So we'll go, uh, we'll go try it out. So, you see that wasn't too bad to do. Um, very sharp. Uh, let's see what thickness of that is. That was about three inches by three and a half. And uh, I really wasn't getting good strikes at it, but it worked very well. Um, so it was off to the side, uh, like like this, instead of more straight on. But yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Um, so we'll try just shaving uh, one of these branches down a little bit too. shave to create any shavings if you want to do that. If you need it to create a point on the end of a at the end of a um, <coughs> branch like this. Um, so you can see it's very easily shaving this down so it's pretty sharp. And like I said for 30 35 bucks I think it's uh, well worth it and you know, it seems to work well. Alright, thank you.